I love the Snow Beast Award. And you know what? That's a big reason why I don't mind so much that people complain about this level. Because it ended up providing some pretty hilarious moments around the office. And just being... It, it became a joke at what? this point. And, and necessary stress relief, too. You know, like with the joke bugs we talked about before, uh, just with the, the crazy long nights that you work in the game industry, you really just sort of need to blow off steam sometimes. And this, this ended up being a really, really good way, way of blowing off steam. I mean, we, we talked about a ton of other awards that never actually got made. You know, like the meat hat. Right. Uh, for if someone crashes the building and goes home. Uh, which probably never would have left Gavin's desk. <laughs> I don't think I'm talking shit. I think Gavin knows that he does this. So yeah, I mean, that, and so and all the criticism about this level that anybody may have, I understand that a lot of it's valid, and you know, there's a lot of problems with this level. I don't pretend that there are problems with this level, but at the same time, I've heard it all at this point. I've processed any any criticism that you might have to give me. I've heard a thousand times before. You're not going to tell me anything I don't know. And really, unless you can make a better level in three days, that's exactly it. Uh, you want to drop the f bomb? No. Okay. Just you know, I want to make sure. But good luck. Dickheads. Good fucking luck. That's right. Dude, that is mean. I am having a good time, though. Are you really? I am. Because I would murder you. Honestly, uh, I, I like just fire, having a bunch of enemies to kill. And that's sort of where we... That's the direction we took with this level, right? It was like, we can't do anything... We can't do anything interesting in the amount of time that we have. That was stupid to me. <laughs> we can't do anything too interesting. We can't do any complicated enemy setups in the time that we have. So the best we can hope for is to put a bunch of enemies in front of you and let you use your weapons. And hopefully that will be kind of fun. And it was kind of fun. For a little while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's, you know, just... Uh, I, think, I think if we'd added about a second to their pre-attack... And about a quarter of a second to a half a second to their post attack. Right. They no p nobody would have complained about it. Uh, but I mean, you know, if you'd asked me at that point, I wouldn't have been able to tell you that. Right. Like, I know this now from my vantage point, looking back on a ton of ratchet games. But I don't know. Really common error in in enemy creation. Uh, so now that I uh, when I, I work at Activision, I don't know if I've said that on the. You air. haven't. Oh, we're going to lose all of our, vis our viewers now. <laughs> so gonna be like, he works at Activision. Fuck him. Um, but uh, now that I work at Activision, I work with a ton of different developers. I see that problem constantly. Of, right. Of uh, two short pre-attacks. Uh, and a lot of times, I, I think people think that it's ramping the enemy up and making him harder. The problem is, is it, doesn't, it makes him harder, but it also makes him feel cheap. Mm. So there's a, a, a constant balance you have to be striking there. Oh, dude. And those guys activated you, from a long way away. You have to You have to go get 16 more... You have to go get 16 more crystals. Oh, for the hypnomatic. Yeah, well, for half the hypnomatic. Right, 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 right. Yeah. You don't even I get do. the hypnomatic at the I'm gonna, end. I'm going to do the uh, section that made the child cry first. Because this is it. This is the glider section. Oh, okay. That, made, that we referenced before. Right. That got us our piece of hate mail. Uh, our callous attitude towards disabled children and weak players. Oh, I'm excited. I'm really glad you're doing this. Uh, especially since you've done no glider stuff up to this point. Uh, even though this is super hard, I love the art in this. Yeah. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous segment. Um, uh, so so uh, I did have something to do with this segment. I, uh, uh, I helped Colin prototype it. Like the falling icicles, I coded those. Okay. Uh, including the screen shake and all that stuff. And that was all done in the blockout. Uh, Colin, you know that 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 uh, Tyrannosaurus sculpture. Yeah. Colin sculpted a Tyrannosaurus sculpture in the blockout. Like it was the most complete blockout I had ever seen up to this point. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I coded those icicles. Maybe the icicles crashed the game. <laughs> Asshole. Given that this is a separate chunk, you know that didn't happen. Maybe. Come on. Oh, oh, oh there we go. That's right. That's right. Oh, shit. Take that, disabled children. <laughs> and weak players, don't forget. Uh, which you are not. You're not a weak player. Not at all. Oh, you get to do a, uh, a uh, not a hacker. A, uh, Why do we have an ammo vendor down here? Because there's another checkpoint. But there's no what enemies down here. Oh, there will be. Okay.
All right, enemy segment. Enemy segments. Oh no, these are hypnomatic enemies. No, but they're yeah, they're enemies at this point because they don't have the hypnomatic. Okay. We re so uh, you were talking about how uh, the last level was out of memory a lot. This had the similar similar problem. Yeah. Uh, out of memory. So since we have a hypnomatic segment in this level, and we have hypnomatic enemies. It, it, it makes sense to just reuse them. Right, because um, you only need them in memory once. What people might not know is that there used to be a boss fight in this level. Really? But he got cut because uh, there was no memory. Uh, yeah, and we don't have enough boss fights in this fucking game. Well, you know what? It was mostly desperation because we were already running short on this level. And uh, I remember this very clearly. We were already running very short on time with this level, and everybody was very frustrated with this level as, as it was because I had a ton of, ton of problems, and you know it was a frustrating sort of experience. And it was one night, late at night, and this level had run out of memory again, you know, as you know, many, many times. And we were trying to just get a build done. And it was like, find the memory, get this level back in memory. And I was trying to find everything that I could to get the level back in memory, and I couldn't find anything. But there was the boss fight. And uh, I remember going up to Ted, and I was like, Ted, I can't find the memory. But if we cut that boss, we're golden. And he's like, cut it. What was yeah. the boss? It was a helicopter boss. Very similar to the, the thug helicopter in uh, the city, the very first boss. Uh, right, I remember. It was very similar to that. Wow, I don't remember him at all. Uh, so there's a ground button on there. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm just making sure everything's dead. Whoa, what's over there? Is that the start? No. Oh, oh you could probably hypnomatic that guy. That's uh, probably a secret down there. Did you code these uh, guys as enemies? I don't think so. I think this was Tim. This was Tim's section, because Tim did the hypnomatic stuff, or I think Tim did the hypnomatic yeah, stuff. Yeah, right. I think you're right. So he did the enemies, and then it was matter since these guys were the same sort of... Oh, 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 I got the nanotech. Too late, though. Stupid. Dude, look at that swirly texture on the wall. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never noticed that before. Is it... What is it, the specular? I don't know what that is. That's pretty cool. It is very is. cool. They must be the using place. the specular for it. I'm totally going to re-upgrade my bouncer down here. Yeah, well, you only have one more hit to go before you upgrade. Dude! It's huge. It's huge. Gigantic. I'm glad that we were able to get this weapon in. Uh, given the... Uh, uh, their, you know, like... The last minute cutting of the rift inducer. Yeah. Where are you supposed to go now? There's a button. I'm just making sure. I'm sad that those dragon guys don't have sounds or that they're not working for some reason. It's still bothering me that that sound didn't work. I wonder if it just stopped working at the last minute and they didn't need to fix that. And more armor that I can't buy. And that's the Carbonox the armor. Carbonox, man. Uh, you know I still have my statue? So, uh, so do I. I have two. Yeah, I got like four of them. <laughs> oh, I got like a million. Yeah. Fuck. I got so many statues. I don't I even care I about them. I ended up with three and I sent one to Booner. I think. Yes. Boom. Boom. Good show, sir. Oh, right. See, I needed to do this to, to get the next crystals anyway. Because I need to be able to go right, on. Right, because you need 16 more crystals. I'm scared. <laughs> You're obsessively saving now. It's probably a good call, given how unreliable this level is. Yeah. Uh, Whoever coded this level, fucking hack. Yeah, but I hear they only did it in three days. <laughs> and could I do better? No. Given that I have coded zero levels. That's right. Uh, no, that's not true. I've coded fractions of a level. You're not going to fight the snow beasts? I don't got to. I got them charge boots. So I could do this the easy way. How many do I need? 16? 16. 16. I'm going to do this the easy way then. What's the easy way? Just go from crystal to crystal. crystal. Yeah. Oh, but won't the snow beasts fuck you up? Like, isn't that the, the bitch about the snow beasts? Maybe. You know what would make this a lot easier? What's that? It or would. The Zodiac, for that matter. Oh, Zodiac is good. We got a lot of stuff that we need to buy. We're kind of in a really shitty spot. You know what else would make this better? 
armor. I know. We should pull out some synthenoids, though. That's probably a good idea. We should probably pull out some mega turrets. Yeah, get, help you with the crowd control. At the very least, the mini turrets and the synthenoids will point out when the snow beasts are coming to rip you from behind. Because snow beasts do it from behind. I don't know if you know this. Do they? Yeah. You think if anybody would know, it would be me, but bit of trivia that had escaped even me. It wasn't that bad of a joke, was it? No. Jesus, man. Uh, so many of them. Oh. And I'm, I'm, the fact that I'm stuck on the first armor. Do you want to come back and do this? No, I need those crystals. I'm going to do it. Even if you only get one and then die, and you get another one and die? And... Yeah, I've gotten three so far on this side. Four? Oh. Okay. Crystal right around here. Oh, what? I don't know. God damn, they're everywhere. At least you got that one before you died. <sighs> There's so many of them. There's a lot of them. Why'd you put so many snow bees out? Um... I guess I was afraid of the level feeling empty, right? I mean, it's you overcompensate. When you have a level this size, you don't want to have any dead time, so you sort of overpopulate. I love... Uh, so, uh, the snow beasts uh, are essentially the swarmers in this level. Yeah. But they are not in any way, shape, or form a swarmer. <laughs> because you suck at making swarmers. Right. As you have said before. I'm very bad at it. And uh, uh, so on the desert level, the things that would pop out uh, in mass were uh, swarmers. Right. On this level, they are monsters. <laughs> if we had put the if we had put monster in the Monsterpedia, people probably wouldn't complain as much. They would have been like, well, he's a monster. He's doing what he's designed to do. <laughs> oh, God. You have 16. Oh, did I only need 16? Yeah. Well, I'll just go till I die, which is right now. There you go. <laughs> so the Tesla coil, we don't have the Tesla coil yet. Well, not that the... Uh... The Zodiac. No, no, it's... it's. Uh, it's we don't a... have the shield charger, we don't have the Zodiac, we don't... That, that, um, the, that one. The plasma coil. Ah. That was a good weapon. There's a lot of things that make this level easier that we don't have. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's because we didn't mine. Yeah. yeah. Or play any of the space Shield Charger is super good. Zodiac, super good. Well, Zodiac is a replay weapon. Plasma Coil, super good. Armor, super good. We could use some of that, couldn't we? But you know what? I made it through it, and I didn't complain once. <laughs> no, not even once. Nope. Hello? We've got more moons what does that tell you about everybody else? Um, that they love complaining for no reason. I'm for real about that challenge, though. I'm going to make that engine. You're going to make an engine just for them? Yep. All right. I'm looking forward to this. Maybe I will... Maybe Take I'll me enter, up. Maybe I'll enter the contest. Take a couple days off work. Just try to prove you wrong. That's right. You can take all the time in the world that you need. If you want to work 24 hours a day, Lord knows I did. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first time you worked three That's days right. straight. 3,000 bolts per moonstone. I'd be a fool not to mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and so the next cinematic we... part comes from your level. My level. So right. let's go do that, and then we're going to have to come back here anyway. Right. And then do the enemy segment. So, for Rash and Clank going commando developer commentary, I'm Tony Garcia. And I'm Mike Stout. And we will see you next time.